Hi guys, JT here and today I'll be bringing you some information on the Humble Bundle Bundle Wadjet I 16 Years of Adventure Bundle of January 2023. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? If you want to know more about game bundles, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps the channel out. Anyway, let's get into this. And number one, we have Unavowed, an adventure game in a fantasy urban setting. The story starts as a demon is forcibly extracted from you. You then decide what gender you want your character to be and what background does your character have, either a cop, an actor, or a bartender, each of its own backstories and unique dialogue options later on. You soon join Unavowed, basically the Ghostbusters, and your possession from earlier had sparked supernatural events, not seen in decades. What's different with this adventure game is that you get to choose which Unavowed members you wish to take on missions, essentially forming a party. They have conversations with each other, give you hints, and you can use their powers to solve puzzles and bypass obstacles. Some of your party members include Eli, the Fire Mage, and Mandana, the Sword-Wielding Jinn, among others. It turned out while you were possessed before the game began, you were up to no good. You can't remember much of it, but as you retrace your steps, meet survivors, and discover clues, you slowly fill the blanks in. The story is structured in a way that you are never quite sure what bizarre weirdness awaits you in each mission. You have access to a headquarters where you can talk to your companions to learn more about them. There's a ton of dialogue in this game that's fully voice acted, but your character remains silent throughout. All characters are interesting to talk to with backstories worth learning about. Puzzles are quite clever that will give you the satisfaction to solve, especially those that aren't too obvious. Some require leaps of logic, while others require you to be observant, paying attention to clues and dialogue. Unavod is an awesome adventure game to undertake with interesting RPG elements that massively change the feel of the game. And number two, we have Strange Land. An adventure game set in an unsettling world. You play a man in a half-down straitjacket, waking up with no memories. You find yourself in a grim and dark, strange floating land with a carnival on it. You see a woman throwing herself down a well, and apparently she does this repeatedly, as explained by a raven and a payphone caller, who by the way, hates your guts. You set out to try to save this woman from a repeated death sentence. The world is bizarre and eerie. The themes of this game go back and forth between trauma and depression, which is effective in making you feel uncomfortable. It's not a horror game per se, but more presenting you with some graphically weird and disturbing things. Like at some point, you see the giant head of a distressed man with his mouth forced open as a carnival entrance, unable to close it. In saying that some personalities of the characters you will meet can be quite funny, so it isn't all grim and dark. It also seems like every other character is mean to you. As to why this is, you're going to need to uncover it yourself. This strange world makes the puzzles quite interesting. Expect the usual pick this up, combine these, and using this in the environment to progress. What makes it different is the fact that you have to use stuff like humunculus or rat skin, which is unusual. Strange Lad lays out puzzles and solutions so you can see the path before you and gradually figure it out in your mind. If you get stuck, there is always a handy payphone that you can pick up to get hints from the dude that hates you. Puzzles can also be solved in multiple ways, and there are no bad or wrong endings. You can also die as many times as you want, and sometimes it is the only way to progress in the puzzle. Death just works differently in this strange world. Strange Land is great if you like some great puzzles and adventuring into a bizarre and depression-filled world. And number three, we have Primordia, an adventure game set in a sci-fi post-apocalyptic world. You play as Horatio Nullbill, and you have a droid friend named Crispin. You are just going about your daily lives when a rogue robot steals the energy source that you need to survive. The search for your energy source brings you to the city of Metropole, and suddenly the adventure evolves into finding out about your past and about humans of yesteryears. The story revolves around the tales of utopian ideals, political upheaval, and religious oppression. Humans are seen as gods, with some robots believing that humans left the robots as shepherds to watch over a wasteland of a planet. The story starts out slow, but once it gets going, new characters, places, and ideas are introduced to you at a good pace. Characters in this game are great with personalities that you come to love, like a very posh robot with a top hat, and the robot that is obsessed with prime numbers. The point and click aspect of the game is standard affair, you can click on highlighted objects to interact and examine them. Store items in your inventory that you can combine and use in the environment, talk to robots around you, and use items on your friend Crispin to solve the puzzle. You also have a data pouch to help you remember codes and notes, and a map for you to fast travel. In terms of puzzles, a lot of it involves deciphering codes to unlock doors, and to get these codes you'll have to talk to other robots or combine items together. They are reasonably challenging, but do include plenty of hints to guide you. Puzzles will also have multiple solutions. There are also 10 endings for you to unlock based on choices you've made in-game. This game is great if you like some satisfying puzzles and likeable characters set in a sci-fi post-apocalyptic world. And number 4 we have Shardlight, an adventure game in a plague-ridden world. Bombs fell from the skies and the world ended. 
now stricken with disease, hunger, and death. The ruling aristocrats control valuable resources like food, water, and vaccines for a deadly disease. There is never enough of those to go around. The rich, in return for their unconditional loyalty to the government, receives their regular doses of vaccination, while the poor live in fear and superstition. You play as Amy Wellard, and you have been infected with the green lung. You work dangerous jobs for the government in hopes of winning the lottery for a temporary vaccine. However, your main goal is to look for an actual cure for this disease that has made life absolute hell. The world of Shardlight is interesting, with plenty of backstory, like a cult who has an old church that you cannot enter unless you are ready to die. There's a ton of small details that can make you appreciate the world, and is worth immersing into. This game also features solid dialogue and great voice actors. The puzzles are excellent at walking you through them most of the time. Sometimes you will miss an object along the way, and you have to walk through each available screen and mouse over everything in hopes of searching for this particular object that you need. Literally pixel hunting, which could be quite annoying. Even though this game ended a bit too abruptly, it is still an interesting narrative and world to explore. And number 5 we have... Techno Babylon, an adventure game set in a cyberpunk world. Set in a neon draped future where the internet called the trance literally sends your mind to another world like the Matrix. You play as two different protagonists, Latha and Regis. Latha is a girl who is less than a good life, living in a rundown apartment, eating slop for food, who loves going into the trance to escape her miserable existence. The trance is a dazzling cyber world where she looks like an extra from the Matrix. Regis, on the other hand, is an old school cop who doesn't trust any of this new technology, which is governed by an all seeing AI called Central. Together with your partner Max, you investigate a series of murders by a killer nicknamed the Mindjacker. This game will see you investigating various crime scenes. Eventually, both Latha and Regis' stories converge on each other. The story is fantastic. It is well paced and written, with plenty of conspiracies and twists. Puzzles are a big part of the game, and they are mostly good, especially ones that play to the setting, like inserting a personality chip into a robot mate to get information. They are logical, challenging, and satisfying to solve. The worst ones involve combining items in weird ways, or ones that just feel out of place, like combining a magnet to a fishing rod in a cyberpunk world. If you want to play through a good story in an interesting world, this game is worth a look at. And number 6 we have... Resonance an adventure game featuring four different playable characters. A mysterious explosion has occurred. The four playable characters involved in this incident has to work together to find out the cause of it and prevent further explosions. The cast and mysterious plot really take the cake in this game. Your four characters take up standard archetypes like a nerdy scientist and a gruff cop, but they are well written and can act in ways you least expect, resulting in some memorable moments. Like most point and click adventure games, you will be clicking on things to grab them, clicking on people to talk to them, or say something about them. What makes this game interesting is a memory system, which gives you a mental inventory in addition to physical objects. So you can talk to characters about events or objects instead of actually showing them what you're carrying. Any object in the world can be dragged into memory, so you can experiment with different kinds of memories and objects. They have the old item combination puzzles, but they aren't too fleshed out, thankfully. This game captures the thrill of exploration, the satisfaction of figuring out interesting puzzles, and the payoff of a well-told story. And number 7 we have... The Blackwell series, featuring adventures across five games Legacy, Unbound, Convergence, Deception, and Epiphany. Each game features separate stories with a single overarching plot, making them more like episodes to a full season. They are not very long but are very engaging, and it will take you a little over a week to finish them all. The series focuses on the Blackwell family, more specifically the two women of the family across two generations. Your family is cursed with a personal ghost companion called Joey. You must work with Joey to guide ghosts who have not accepted their fate into the afterlife. You will either play as Rosangela Blackwell or Lauren Blackwell, the aunt of Rosangela, depending on which game you are playing. Over the course of the games, you will learn more about each character and the various ghosts that you meet. The characters are very well written, and they feel real, both humans and ghosts alike, thrown into an adventure. The story is very well paced and reveals are nicely staggered throughout the five games. The overall premise of helping ghosts does not change as you play through the different games, which is great for building a very consistent world with an overarching story. Controls and mechanics are simple. You can interact with various objects and people, as well as direct where your characters are to go. You have access to an inventory housing all of your items you have collected, as well as a notebook. You can also combine items and clues together to solve puzzles. Filling up your notebook allows for more dialogue choices in conversations. You have access to a phone to ring a variety of people, and a computer to read emails and do searches. In saying that, you can't just go to youtube.com to watch this video, but rather type in the correct search to move further into the puzzle or story. If you're a fan of point and click adventure games driven by a great story involving ghosts, definitely play this series. And number 8 we have Gemini Rue, a cyberpunk sci fi adventure game featuring two playable characters. 
In a world where life is cheap and identities are bought and sold, you play as Ezreal Odin, an ex-assassin arriving on a rain-filled planet called Maracas. Naturally, things go horribly wrong and your only chance of survival is to seek help from criminals that you used to work for. While all this is happening, a man called Delta-6 awakens in a hospital with no memory. Without knowing who you are and who to trust, you vow to escape before you lose your identity entirely. Fate will bring the two of you closer together, and your quest for redemption can change the fate of the whole galaxy. The story is chock full of hard-boiled drama. One minute you could be involved in a shootout, and the next minute you could be reading a stranger's emails for a lead. You can also switch between two characters at will, which is a blessing when you need a break from a complicated puzzle for either of them. There's also a twist that will put M. Night Shyamalan to shame, to look forward to. Something that can be annoying, and this is true for most old-school point-and-click games, is that some puzzles require you to click around so you find the right pixel to move on with the story. And these can be hard to find as the pixels look identical to everything around it. However, this game features a mature narrative, questioning human nature and what defines a person, rather than resorting to comedy for engagement. It's a game that treats its players like adults, and is definitely one worth playing through. And number 9, we have... The Shiva. An adventure game where you play a rabbi. You play as Russell Stone, and you run a poor synagogue in New York City. You're a devout man, but the lack of members and funds have made you more cynical and bitter. Just as you were about to give it all up, you receive some interesting news. One of your members at the synagogue has died, and a significant amount of money is left to you. You need the money, but your conscience won't let you accept it. Wanting to find out the reasons for why this money was left to you, you uncover the history between you and the deceased, and this murky past will lead you on a journey to renewing your faith. This adventure is a fairly short and simple mystery game, clocking in about two hours. Even though you have an inventory system, you can only hold a handful of items, and there is no combining of items to solve puzzles or problems. This game is mostly about sleuthing and dialogue, and you eventually find yourself involved in a sinister crime syndicate. To make progress, you have to examine clues and make correct dialogue choices with characters that you meet. You also have access to a special rabbi response, which allows you to answer a question with a question. This response will come in handy towards the end of the game in a unique conversation. This game also features more than one ending, and your choices can really lead the story in either direction. The Shiva is worth playing through if you like point-and-click adventure games, even if you aren't Jewish or familiar with the Jewish faith. And number 10 we have... The Excavation of Hobbs Barrow, with a 33% off coupon. This game is a folk horror narrative-driven adventure game. You play as an antiquarian, Tom Anisa Bateman, and you're writing a book on the barrows of England, documenting treasures you find buried within. A letter summons you to the small tucked away village of Beulay. Upon your arrival, you find that the mysterious man that summons you is nowhere to be found, and what's more mysterious is that your assistant, that was meant to be there a day after you, never arrived. What's worse is that the landowner is denying you access to the barrow, and the locals are wary of you for traveling alone and wearing trousers. Adding mercury to open wound, you start having strange dreams. Even though this game is touted as a horror game, there is little actual horror in terms of jump scares or gore. It is a subtle kind of horror that makes you think about the implications of what the villagers have brought upon themselves. Your character is very stoic, not backing down from being denied, even when faced with the supernatural or discussions of heavy topics like suicide. You aren't afraid to bang on people's doors to demand help or do whatever is necessary to gain access to the barrow. The story will keep you guessing, wanting to find out more about the mysteries of the barrow in this remote village. You'll be exploring the village, fetching items for villagers in exchange for information, or even giving up an item that you really need to battle against their silence. You can talk to people around you, interact with or examine various objects to produce different results. If you're a bit lost, you can hold down the spacebar key to reveal interactable elements to go through. You also have access to an inventory to hold items you have found and can use on various hotspots. It is encouraged that you examine each item collected to gather clues for puzzles. The ending may feel slightly rushed, but it is still satisfying that it will leave your mouth wide open in front of your screen. This game is an awesome experience that is well paced and excellently voiced. And that's all for this bundle. This bundle is awesome if you like some narrative point-and-click adventure games. They all tell interesting stories and it's one that shouldn't be missed. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.